I'd say my favorite Bergie memory is, I think the first time I got to meet him, uh, I think I was 12 years old. He must have been maybe 18, coming in his first year playing pro. Uh, played down in, uh, pretty sure it was down in Bridgewater, playing for Providence, and a bunch of 12 year olds bombarding Patrice Bergeron. And he was so nice and gracious. And that was the first kind of a taste of what he was like and um, getting to um, meet him the first time. But that's exactly how he. He's been, he's always been like that and just so down to earth and the way he treated us and the kids um, made you want to cheer for him that much more. And uh, that's something I'll always remember. I think a lot of people always kind of go to the memories of on the ice stuff and, and things that he did throughout his career. But for me personally, um, there was a lot of times where I had the opportunity to just go on a walk with, after dinner with Bergie and just uh, talk just one-on-one -on -one with nobody else around and things like that. And, um, that's where our friendship really grew. And uh, that's something that I'll definitely um, miss and have during the season because he was always there to help me through any situation that I was going through. So um, yeah, there's, there's many of those moments where I got to have the pleasure of just, uh, you know, walking around outside in the hotel just with Bergie and um, those moments stood out the most to me. I would have to say, I think it was in Columbus uh, playoffs. Uh, we went in our 19 run uh, where we were kind of feeling their heat momentum and we had power play and, um, you know, he scored a goal and just a celebration. I just saw like cool he looked when he did it. The camera view of it after, he even got a better shot of it. But I remember I was just, you know, obviously super excited uh, that we were able to get on the board at that point. But that was probably my favorite memory being on the ice with him was seeing his emotion when, uh, when he scored. So my favorite Burger game moment uh, was probably when on his thousand point. It was really fun to share with him, and uh, it was just a really fun game to be part of overall. And then we went uh, went out after with the whole team. It just felt really special, and you could tell how happy he was, and uh, he deserved it so so much as well. Like he's such a such a great player and even better person. So it was, th that experience was really fun. For Burger memory, um, and why I'm gonna probably miss him so much, and. The great memories he gave me and all the laughs he gave me is all the stuff he kind of did behind the scenes. And, uh, you know, we even talked about this year how it's gonna, never going to be matched and it's going to be, you know, impossible to kind of, I guess, live up to not only his hockey play, but I guess the funny and uh, stuff that he does to bring the guys together is really what I'll probably miss. And Favorite Bergie memory is definitely going to be his acting skills. Welcome to Elmo's world! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Elmo is one ticklish monster! <laughs> I don't even know if you can create, recreate what he's done uh, and the joy that he's brought uh, the guys in the room. Uh, I, think, I think that's what I missed the most. When he scored that OT goal in, or the tie goal in 2013, and then the OT winner, um, just the fashion that the game happened, and um, obviously he steps up. It's no surprise to anyone. He's, always has a, a knack for those moments. And um, that's just one that sticks with me. Uh, it, was, it was cool to see him celebrate. There's, there's too many moments, but I actually remember we, we used to, we used to be roommates too my first year in LA. And he actually showed me how to be a re real professional because the first, first year, first trip, I was with Bergie. Uh, we were roommates, we did cold house before games. Uh, and yeah, that was kind of like, I was like, wow, this guy, this guy's for real, right? He's a legend, let's just, let's just kind of, you know, keep an eye on him, see what he does, try to pick up some things. And, and they kind of stuck with me and uh, learned from him so much. 2019, um, in the finals, um, he, uh, before game six in St. Louis, he shared a really touchful story as a, from him growing up, he read the letter uh, to everybody, uh, what he wrote as a kid. And, uh, you know, uh, we were always in St. Louis down 3-2 and, and uh, he read that in front of the uh, whole room and, and uh, you know, it was amazing. And uh, we ended up winning the game six and, and coming back for game seven. And, and uh, you know, that 
that story he shared uh, is definitely one of my favorites uh, from him. I think favorite memory for me was you know when I met him for the first time. We came here a week before, a week before a season, and and you know just just how excited he was you know to meet me there, part of the team, and and the way he the way he talked. I heard so many good things about him, and the way he talked, and and how he made me feel good about being in the team. And then you know first practice, I never thought he would work as hard as he did. You know he absolutely destroyed me on the ice, and you know just had the smile on his face the whole time too. So it kind of showed me that. He's he's serious with you know that's how he how he's been his whole career and it's that was the first memory that I had with him and you know the first impression of him was right away I was mind blown at what kind of great guy and and great leader he is. I would have to say uh, my favorite memory of Berge, uh when we scored the the fourth goal to to uh, you know kind of solidify that. Uh, it was the first moment that we allowed ourselves to to think that uh, we had won, or we were gonna win. Um, there's only a couple minutes left in the game, and and uh, you know we were celebrating, and uh, you know he grabbed me in the corner, him and Rex, and you know I remember turning around looking at him, and you know, he was just like, you know, you know, we won basically. And it's the first moment that uh, you know I think we all um, we again allowed ourselves to uh, realize that you know we we're about to win a Stanley Cup with the other so it's pretty cool